Okay, so today I want to start off by talking about Minecraft. Now please just keep watching. So um, when I first started, my kid made me play, I promise. But you gotta like, you know, you gotta have all this stuff and you gotta mine stuff and you gotta keep track of it and you can put it in a chest or you could, whatever, you gotta store it, right? To build things and make things and that's the game. But that chest gets pretty messy if you don't organize it and sort things out. And pretty soon you realize Minecraft is really just a second job. And that's why I do this job is so that I can play my second job. What are the types of inventory systems that you as a small business can use? Well, you have manual, and that one's pretty obvious. It might be you writing down something on a post-it note, on a whiteboard, on a notebook. I've seen pretty much every iteration in different companies and how they use a manual process to keep track and to keep count. There's a periodic system, meaning you are kind of keeping count at periodic intervals. And this usually involves some type of Excel spreadsheet or just Google spreadsheet, whatever. And this means that you are tracking you know, what you have, what you've sold, what the total value of that was, and then what you ended up for that month. It's usually pretty basic and it's easy enough to track. And then finally, there's perpetual, meaning it is constant or even you've heard the term robust. There is always a monitoring of your inventory levels and the fluctuations, what's being used, what's on hand so that you know at any given moment in that day that you can check that system and you know what you have. And more often than not, this is almost always software because any other way would mean that there's a guy literally going around all day long just counting stuff on his hands and that'd be a terrible job and he'd probably be weird, or she. Okay, so the pros and cons of these systems are kind of obvious. If you're doing it manually, there's a really good chance of messing it up and you're constantly having to stop and keep count. If you're doing it periodically, it's not as often, but there's also still a really high probability of messing up your levels or not having uh, accurate information when you need it. And then perpetual, it's nice because it's constant. As soon as something changes, an order comes in, you make that adjustment and the system accounts for everything and pushes it down the line so that you are consistent in your account. So a better question when you are thinking about inventory systems for your business is, what do I need now versus what do I need down the road? If you're just this really small, one man, one woman show, some simple spreadsheet probably is enough. But if you have aspirations of growing it to something big, or if you just hope that down the line, you're gonna have more products to sell, more parts to make, whatever your business is, you need something that can now scale with you. And that comes to the second part of thinking of your inventory systems is you need the ability to grow and have that system grow along with you so that you're not now jumping ship every time you make a transition into a larger warehouse, scaling up a larger production, whatever that looks like. So finally, the question you should be asking yourself is what are your thresholds to change? If it's just you and your spouse starting out and you're running things out of your house, manual systems probably work fine. But pretty soon you're gonna need some kind of periodic system. You're gonna need a spreadsheet. But this is where a lot of businesses get in trouble. If you wait too long to start your new system, whatever it may be, until you're in the middle of all these orders and trying to keep track of all your inventory and you're still using a notebook, you are gonna have problems. The sooner you get your system in place, the better off you're gonna be long-term. Just like in Minecraft, when I finally got all my stuff organized in chests and I had a whole room for my diamonds and my stone and my pickaxes and then my wife saw all that and she was like, and this is a game you play and we don't really talk about it anymore, so it's fine. Okay, I'm James, this is Whiteboard Wednesday.